In a town founded on drunken fights in the streets and the construction of churches, it makes sense why all of its inhabitants are so fucked in the head, including myself. Most get stuck in their ways and become townies, dragging their drunken bodies from bar to bar. The kids tend to do the same, though some are more ambitious and turn to harder drugs like cocaine and heroin. I always told myself I'd be different, so instead of bar to bar, I'd drag my lifeless body down to the train bridge and sleep amongst the dirt and the rubble while hearing trains go overhead in the night. Sometimes, I'd like to imagine myself on the tracks rather than below them. One day while driving, delivering some asshole as pizza, I found a decaying raccoon along the side of the road. After work that day, I came back to the spot and flipped over its body only to find maggots filled its corpse. Still, I wanted to find a use for him, so I picked up his body as a little girl in the house next door watched in horror, and I placed him in a box in the back of my car. I always wondered how serial killers hid their victims without rising any suspicion, but I guess it's easy because no one questioned me as I drug a heavy box reeking of death and decay through an arena of drunken townies and down to the train bridge. There I dug him a shallow grave and placed him in it, covering him in the dirt and rubble I had previously slept on, welcoming him to my self-proclaimed home. He deserved a proper death, one he would have never had without my intervention. Rocky had met his match for sure. I still visit the bridge on my trips home, a sort of pilgrimage, and though the town changes, the people remain unchanged, and I hate them all the same.